This situation is so ridiculous. Where do I even begin? Okay, so there's this channel called Lindsay Knoll, and this is her YouTube banner. Now, based off this banner, what genre of content do you think she makes? Well, if you guessed horror content, you would be correct. And not only is it horror content, but it's kids horror content, the type of content that J Station is known for. We have great videos like do not order Among Us Happy Meal from McDonald's at 3 a.m. Foster came to my house. Do not go to this haunted Toys R Us overnight. Real ghost. Scary. Do not call evil Barney at 3 a.m. Barney is haunted? He attacked us. And of course, the classic. Do not watch SpongeBob at 3 a.m. Let's check out some of this content. SpongeBob, stay away! No, stay away! SpongeBob! SpongeBob, get away from me! SpongeBob! Here's today's daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Lissy. Be sure to subscribe button and be sure to drop a like or else SpongeBob EXE will come to your house and take all of your cookies. This is not a scam. The amount of whiplash I got in the first 30 seconds of that video alone is just... I have a headache. We went from pitch black, SpongeBob cosplay chase horror scene to cutesy animation with personas to story time animation quality character to insane vlog intro like and subscribe to click the like button this is not a scam commentary style promotion just five radically different genres of content back to back to back to back all right then let's see what's next what the heck why is he so ah! Look at SpongeBob! I don't know. What's going on? Ah! That's what's gonna happen if we keep Dude. watching this. Oh my God, what is that? So she just takes other people's animations and uses them as the basis for her horror videos. Well, it's fair use, so even if the animator doesn't like his animation being used in this way, there's absolutely nothing he could do to legally justify copyright striking a fair use video. But as we've learned with Susie Lou, you sure can try. Which is what Lindsay ended up doing when she tweeted out, Videos like this are not okay. Please go report this, guys. Bling from grown adults on my content? This is the reason people commit suicide and get depressed. Should I copyright strike him? Now, this video that Lindsay Knoll is responding to on Twitter is a video much like the one you've been watching up until this point. It's a reaction commentary video on the exact same video I just showed you, which is over 20 minutes in length. And considering that the original skit was eight minutes, it goes without saying that this video is completely fair use. But Lissy copyright striked it anyways, because he was being mean to her. Even though that's not why you strike something for copyright. Copyright has nothing to do with hurting someone else's feelings. It's about reposting content that is not yours. And considering that she claimed his whole video was hers, clearly that's not the case. Now, if Lissy wanted this video taken down so badly, you would assume that it garnered a lot of views and started hurting her brand in a major way. Well, that's not the case either. The video only got 900 views before it was struck and was uploaded on a channel with 4K subscribers. Obviously, I'm not trying to demean Jackass here. I'm just saying Lizzie's reasoning for striking this, even from a selfish standpoint, makes little to no sense. But it gets even worse because Jagaz is not the only person she struck. She also struck a smaller YouTuber called Dynamic CB with 400 subscribers. And not only does this person have less subscribers, but he's a kid. And on top of that, he's a very nice kid. Just listen to some of his video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today in this video, I'm telling you about how I got copyright claimed from Lizzie Noel herself. So Lizzie actually gave a response to Dynamic CB from her verified million sub account, where she says, I struck you cause you're bullying me, homie, and stole my video. Not cool, dude. Please stop. You are better than this. You are young and have so much potential. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Bullied by this guy. I, I'm speechless. Do you now understand why I said this was so ridiculous at the beginning of the video? Like, from her content, to how she's acting, to the copyright strikes, to this, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. But we're not done yet. 
it gets even worse. Tipster is a fellow YouTuber who covers drama news. I think you should sub to him if you haven't already. He's actually a very helpful channel to be subbed to in terms of keeping up with all of this. But regardless, he released a video talking about Lindsay Knoll. And she saw that video and ended up DMing Tipster. And he revealed said DMs in this video. And before we get into it, let me just say how funny this thumbnail is. Tipster's great, but this thumbnail out of context, she DM'd me! It just looks so simple and it's completely hilarious and also if you pay attention to the dm in the thumbnail she explicitly states i never consented you to put my photo in your thumbnail and then he shows that dm and her photo and puts it in the next thumbnail i just find that completely hilarious but regardless let's start reading some of these dms lizzie initiates contact with tipster by saying hey can you please not spread false information about me or my name i never consented you to put my photo in your thumbnail or use my name or my legal name in your video on YouTube. The information you added into your video about me is false, and I consider it a form of defamation. I'd appreciate if you can please take that video down. I don't enjoy getting involved into drama at all. I only copyright strike people when they take full sections of my videos and just re-upload and claim them for their own use, or when it is content not used with consent that is very inappropriate. Tipster responds, my video is fair use and in no way shape or form did I spread false information. Also, I wouldn't advise engaging in this type of behavior, as it would only bring more heat your way. I'm more than happy to give you a platform to tell your side of the story though if you like. Per fair use, I do not require consent to use your publicly available images or name in my video. All information shared is publicly available. Lissy responds, Your video is slandering my name though, and spreading false information about me. The copyright strike was not false on his channel, it was a fair one. Please do not jump to conclusions without knowing the full story. It's really unfair to make assumptions. Like I said, I do not get involved in drama, and I wish everyone involved could have just handled this nicer. Tipster responds, His video falls under fair use. Therefore, the copyright strike was indeed false. He did a reaction commentary to your content, which falls under fair use. Lissy responds, I'm now getting death threats and people jumping to my channel sending hate. Which, yeah, is expected. Did you watch his original one? I have nothing against you, by the way. I just don't want others assuming things of me without full content. Tipster responds, I do not condone harassment of any kind. But this is unfortunately what happens when you abuse the copyright system to silence critiques. Lizzie responds, Then I'd advise you to please remove my image and delete the slander portion. It is false. I am not trying to attack your channel or strike you. But spreading false info is not okay. Tipster responds, I will not be removing it. It is fair use and it is not slander. You abuse the copyright system to silence a critique and I will not be complying with your demands. Sorry. It is also not okay for large channels like yourself to go around trying to silence smaller creators. The community doesn't exactly take kindly to that sort of thing. So I wouldn't advise doing that. I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but issuing false copyright strikes can get your channel terminated. So do you plan to issue a copyright strike on my channel too? Just wondering. Okay, I'm free now. If you wish to discuss this further, I'm available. Guess you're not willing to talk anymore. Fair enough. I appreciate you giving me your time. As for your request, I will not be taking down the video or editing it. My content falls under fair use and is a trending news commentary. And if you plan on issuing a copyright strike, I will be appealing it and will be notifying YouTube that you are abusing the copyright system. My DMs are open if you want to talk further. But until then, thank you for your time. Take care. And then she retaliates by blocking him. So pretty interesting exchange of messages. It seems like even when the situation is explained to her in a non-hyperbolic, very polite and cordial way, she still seems to think she's in the right and is blocking anybody who says otherwise. Hopefully she realizes the error of her ways and reverts the copyright strikes on all of the channels she has struck thus far, not only because it's false, but because it's just such a pain to deal with the copyright strike, even if it's false. Not only does it add restrictions to your channel, but it also brings you one step closer to channel terminating and doesn't expire for multiple months. So if you end up getting a copyright strike, whether it be false or legitimate, for any other reason beyond that, you have the chance of getting your whole channel terminated. It's a huge pain to deal with. Anyways, if you want to hear me talk about this topic more, I did a stream about it over on Augie RFC's channel, so you can click the link in the description to check that out. I'll also be leaving Jack As and Dynamics channel in the description, so you guys can go support them if you want to. Special thank you to Tipster for the coverage on this topic, because without him, I wouldn't be able to make this video. And also special thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel. In particular, Scrubby, who decided to donate $100 
dollars a month that is absolutely insane thank you so much dude but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video